real thing, the real business, and uh, probably ought to have it in front of me. Okay. All right, here we go. Welcome to the month. What are you doing? I'm sorry. <laughs> Welcome to the Monday show. Enjoy. It's a Monday, and we're here to do Monday things. What were you talking about? You know, it says we're here to do Monday things, but I don't even know what that means. This. This is Monday. Well, yeah, things. but like, what is a Monday thing? Like, what's something you only do on Mondays? The Monday show. Besides that. <laughs> Like everyday life things. like Dread life as you go to work after the weekend. <sighs> but the stereotype that Mondays suck, I don't know if I agree with it. I kind of like Mondays, but I'm in a different place you in my life. You are in a very different place. I used to be in that place. I used to be in the corporate You know who drag hates my Mondays? Ass to work. My dog. Oh, why? Because I leave on Mondays. Yeah, but what she is... She hates it. What is she... Oh, she doesn't like it when you leave, and no. she knows that you're about to. She'll get sad. nervous before, even if she's... Like, she'll get nervous on a month. Like, today, you didn't have to go into the office. You will on Thursday. But because you didn't today, she still got nervous at first because she wasn't sure. Yeah. I saw it. In Anytime her. I put my shoes on, she gets nervous because yeah. she's like, are you leaving? What's happening? Are you taking me with you? Your dog's <laughs> jacked, dude. She's a dummy. Why is she so dumb? Can we work on that? Can that be a project here to get her not less I'm, stupid? I'm trying. I really am. <laughs> I mean, we love her no matter what, but she's kind of stupid. She's dumb. Not stupid. It's because she's smart in a lot of ways. She's a very nervous dog. Yeah. And it's a pain in the butt. I don't know how you fix that. I don't either. I don't know how to be myself. You know, the things I'm nervous about. Yeah. How do I, I don't even know how to do that. Like how am I supposed to fix a dog? How do you deal with an anxious dog if you can't even deal with your own anxious... Exactly. I don't want to be... You're an anxious man. I don't like to be on a plane full of people breathing. Blech. How am I supposed to teach a dog like to... like people in general. <laughs> Although your dog should quit eating poo. That I know. I am trying with that. Let's too. work on that, and everything else can take a little side. What What has to happen is I have to go out with her every time she goes outside, which I'm fine with. But sometimes you're taking care of her and you don't do it. That is sometimes true. Yeah, <laughs> there are occasional. There's a little bit of truth to that. I'll admit it. I admit it. Okay, we're going to talk about some stuff today. We got a whole got lineup whole here. Lineup. I'm Scott, and that's Carter, by the way. Hello. I forgot to do proper I'm Carter. Yeah, this is Carter. She is the fruit of my loins. I'm her dad. Stop. I you gonna I, say that every show? <laughs> I well, I produce the fruit, or I produce the seed, and your mother provided the egg, and then through a through a magical I'm process. I'm really glad that when a mom and a dad love each other <laughs> so much. <laughs> I'm really glad we're going through the process. Well, it's, yeah, to I understand mean, how how I got here. The journey through the urethra. No, we're not doing Please, that. Please, no. <laughs> I just saw that episode of King of the Hill where he's got the narrow urethra. That is a great episode. <laughs> the best part is how Cotton pronounced it. He goes, "You got that narrow ureti." Ureti. You got that narrow. Ure- <laughs> I ain't got no narrow ureti. He says, <laughs> "Got that from your mother." <laughs> I killed fifty men. <laughs> oh, we love that show. It's a great show. It is the most comforty food show. I just kicked the. Stupid, dumb ass. Carter, garbage that's can. you doing that. Stupid garbage cans. Oh, we, well, you can move it here. Let's fix it. <sighs> Get your back in. Okay. <laughs> Fixed camera. Sorry. It's all right. Um, no spikes today, I noticed. Oh, we're not supposed to bring it up. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do you it. You already brought it up. All right. Let's, Car- let's Carter, talk about this for a second. Carter's wearing a bolo tie. Yep. A bla- so, uh, black sequined, uh, like, uh, welcome to the Nashville top 20 shirt thing. I got a new bolo tie, and yeah. I like my jacket, and I look cool. So Where'd you get it? No, I'm not saying you look bad. I'm just saying you're so... See, this is the thing. People tuned in last week or the week before. They're like, oh, you got like a punk dog. Like I had someone say on YouTube, some stranger, go, yeah. she goes, ooh, cool rock and roll daughter. And I go, you have no idea. You're about to see the whole breadth of my wardrobe. Yeah, look at her. What's next after this? What do they have to look forward to next week? Um, I don't know yet. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> it's going to be fun. Um, I like it. I think it's a good look. Um, was I, what was I talking about? I forgot. Oh, we're going to talk about this show you hate. So brace oh, okay. yourselves. Brace yourselves. Because <laughs> there's a great deal of love out there for the original Last Airbender animated series. My hand is so big when I hold it out like this. This is so yeah, stupid. Yeah, it's called Forced Perspective. I know, and I hate it. Look at this. Dune. <laughs> to me, you just look insane. I have a hand, I <laughs> handful of men. see the... The camera. Anyway, um, we're we're big fans of the cartoon here, and Carter, uh, you know, lots of. It's a perfect. Period. It is a perfect show. When did you first see it? How old were you? You're probably in junior high, or oh no, I was like, 
a child. Younger than that? Oh, little baby. I don't remember when it came out. Let's it look out it like up. 2004, I think. Well, let's look it up. That's but not I've... a. You weren't a baby in 04. I was seven years old. No. To 97 to 04. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> That's weird. Okay, last hairbender. Airbender. I put hair. Last hairbender. The last airbender, the original avatar, last bear, uh, bear ender. <laughs> <laughs> the bear ender. Here it is. 05 to 08. 05. Okay. So you were eight years old until... I was eight to, to, to 11. Okay. So that's a formative period of your life yeah. as a child. Um, and the last airbender, as you know, is a, you know about this stupid kid, Aang, with his dumb arrow on his head and <laughs> all that. It's wonderful. It is wonderful. It's a wonderful little show. It was the first time that um, like fantasy was was happening in a show or cartoon like like fantasy fantasy that wasn't like european style fantasy what do you mean oh it wasn't, it wasn't castle like it wasn't very JR, like english Tolkien, castles Tolkien it wasn't, yeah. style whatever it was yeah. like all asia based yeah. so like each of the nations was like a different area of asia yeah. kind of thing and it, it was crazy yeah that's cool it I, that is cool actually because i have the really, art book over there do you have really have yeah. it do you want to grab it sure okay take your headphones I'll off so you don't my, yank oh, yeah. the thing out <laughs> that would be ugly so while Carter's grabbing that, um, currently sitting at uh, this this classic now, Nickelodeon classic, sitting at nine point three out of ten on IMDb. I'm not sure you get much higher than that on IMDb. And uh, what is there's this? Oh, that's a video channel. Huh? I thought there was a streaming app called Nick. What is it? Nick Hits. Nick Hits. Nickelodeon Hits. Anyway, See? our book. Oh, okay. Let's hold this. Let's look at this. So there you go. Whoa, look at that. And this is from the original stuff or mm -hmm. what? Okay. Yep. So Concept it's... artist, creator. I guess it's second edition, but whatever. I guess I don't know this. I really like the show, but I don't know its origins. Is it just straight to TV thing? Was there comics before or something or a book? No, or... it was all straight to TV. Okay. Actually, I can show you. This is so dumb. What is it? But the very original sketch that inspired. Show me where they butcher Appa and eat all his flesh. That happens, right? Can I show? How how would I show you that? <laughs> oh, sorry, punch the microphone. <laughs> oh my gosh, easy on I'm the hard I'm sorry. Door. Let's see it. What are you showing me? I think it's this one. No, it's not you've, that one. You've gone past that page four times now. Shut up. Here it is. <laughs> this is the very this one right here. Can you see it? Oh yeah. That's the very first sketch ever done. Ever done? Of like that was like his very his, first like, his idea. concept idea. Wow, that's cool. It's really actually, cool. you know what's funny? The spirit of that sketch is the show. Kind of nailed it. Yeah. Okay. So clearly we have a fan here. I'm a big nerd. You and your friends are all huge fans of the cartoon. You all grew up with one, it. It's one of those formative um, pieces of media that's like inspired a lot of creativity when I was little. Yeah. And I remember seeing it the first time about the time you guys did. And I remember going, man. This is for kids? They didn't have cool shit like this when I was your age. I, so I rewatched it whenever it first got on Netflix, and it was like trending for a while in 2021. 2021. Two, one. I don't remember. It may have been before the pandemic. 20, anyway, 19, 18. That show covers some major topics, things like genocide and like what it's like to be a child in war and like... Social inequity. Of, like, yeah, like the, these subjects that as a child you're not really getting necessarily... Of all of your of all your influences, where does this one rank? I don't know. <laughs> but you really thought about it's it. It's all mushed in there. Really? Yeah. Okay. Big well, old bag. I think this one uh, counts as a really important thing. That's what I'm trying to establish here. Yes. Right. Very it's a big deal in Carter's media. life. Big deal in a lot of people's lives. Big and... deal in Western animation. Oh yeah, for sure. Like, like I feel like it opened doors for a bunch yeah. of stuff, right? Yes. And it felt like it was like anime. In some way, like styling and the way it moved and stuff. The way that the story is told is very animated, yeah. very like having arcs and stuff. But you could tell it was made here. Yes. By, did you say yeth? I said yes. With an I swear you put a th on the end of that and I was about to wonder how our speech therapy money went when you were five or whatever. Anyway, anyway just kidding. We didn't really do that. I also had an obsession with Mako when I was young. I always thought it was Mako. I think it's Mako. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't this, know. The voice actor. Yeah. The Aku. Uh, Aku. Aku. Yeah, Mostly because of Aku, but also Iroh. Yeah, but also, you let us not underestimate or understate your obsession 
with Samurai Jack. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> yeah, that was Samurai Jack was the thing. It cha- that changed my life yeah. as a child. I think Carter draws because of Samurai Jack. I think that she sometimes when I'm feeling uninspired, I'll just watch Samurai Jack and it helps me. Yeah, it's so good. It's very much a part. Yeah, I love it. It's pretty deep seated. I love it too. So all right. Now we bring anyway. the current. They decide in 2010 they made a movie and no one saw it because it sucked. Shamalama Lamb. Shamalama Ding Dong made one, and it was bad. Yeah, not good. I didn't see it, but <laughs> we're gonna film sack that at some point. Um, so that happens, and then now jump. Let's jump to current. The year is 2024. 20, 24. And Netflix did a. Thick. What does that sound? Do you hear that? No. <laughs> I'm hearing stuff. <laughs> you freak me out. I'm always on the lookout now because I my stupid mic problem I had a couple weeks ago oh, yeah, pissed me off mic. so bad. I couldn't find it for the longest time. Anyway, oh. they made a live action show, finally comes out. Yep. Uh, let's just quickly check in on the on the reviews. Yep. Um, While you do that, I just want to say, full disclosure, everyone's allowed their opinion. Oh, it's fine. Full disclosure, though. Yeah. I went into this, obviously biased. I love the cartoon. Yeah. And I also have a thing about making live action out of cartoons that's a whole different spiel but you don't think it needs to be done i just i'm confused when they make something that's already really good and decide to move it over to a medium that doesn't carry the subject matter as well do you think though animation is always not always a lot of animation exists and even even though it's its own art form Mm -hmm. one that i love but it Oftentimes, is a stand-in for what would be a far more expensive. Disagree. Live action thing you couldn't do as well as you can with animation. Do you know what I'm saying? The animation makes it so you can tell yeah, stories so that you can't tell in live this action. This is the thing: as I don't think the animation is a oh well, we can't do this in live action, so I guess we'll have to do animation. I think it's in and of itself its own like thing where you can do more than other things. Just like, I mean, like any medium is going to have their own benefits and drawbacks, right? Yeah, it's true. Yeah. But. I could see that. Yeah. Well, so, I mean, everybody was a little worried about this. I don't like when they infantile, inf, inf, infantilize, infantilize, infantilize young, uh, kids. animation. Where they're oh, like, where oh, they, it's yeah. for kids. It's yeah. for children. I don't like Freaking that Freaking Jimmy Kimmel on the stage being like, do you know else let their kid do this vote? Piece of garbage. I hate that man. No, that's too strong. Only for that. I'm pissed off that he said that. I pissed off. That I don't the like Oscars, that he said it either. The Oscars always does this. I anyway, know. I was telling somebody. Maybe I was telling Brian. I can't remember who I was talking to, but I, I think it was on TMS. I was complaining that I was ready for a new host. I'm tired of Jimmy Kimmel, and part of that came from those moments where I was well, just like, really, we're gonna make been, that joke. They've been doing that forever. Every Oscars, they're always like, ha ha, it's for children, and it's like, can yeah. we acknowledge? It is an art form and also the thing that kind of kept Hollywood alive during the pandemic for a short time. Yeah. Also, how can you see Spider-Verse and not go holy And think shit. like, oh, this should have been in live action, actually. Yeah, that's, see, that's a great example of where, where that movie can do things that no live action could never match up mm-hmm. to. That's interesting. I hadn't thought about that. Well, anyway, yeah. so now we have an opportunity for <laughs> Netflix to prove us all wrong. So, and to live action, uh, a live beloved action cartoon day. from the early aughts, and they gave it a shot. They swung, yeah. and in your opinion, they, they missed. I think they missed. Okay, tell, the, tell me why you think they missed. The right issue. now, by the way, so let's just check. <laughs> Rotten Tomatoes, 60%. That's barely fresh. Anything lower, and it goes stinker. Yeah. That's for critics. Audience score, 75. If I look at the score on IMDb, 7.3 out of 10. That's pretty strong. It's a C. Is You'd what call it a C? Saying. Everyone's saying it. On the here, it's a C. What do you say? D? I, I don't B? know. <laughs> you don't know. You're trying to, you don't want to get in trouble because you know that. Here's the thing. Don't be mad. <laughs> we have people in our community who really like this show. I respect that. No, I, I think everyone should have their own opinions. Of course. But I have very strong opinions and a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to hear mine. <laughs> um, I mean, they could choose not to listen. They I really skip ahead. You I know? really went into this thinking, trying to think like, okay, I love the cartoon, but I'm going to give them the chance. The trailers look really cool. The actors they chose are like really look like the characters and seem like really good. Most of them are Mr. Kim's in there. Yeah, <laughs> most, we love we love him. Paul's most of great. them are are like the um, ethnicity of the character as well, or like the equivalent. They're Asian in the world. That's what you're saying. Well, yes and no, but like, well, what's Aang? Aang is supposed to be kind of a Tibetan monk. Okay, yeah. is that kid Tibetan? Do we know? I don't know, but he's 
he definitely looks the part. My point is like Gordon, most of the Gordon Comfier. Or no, sorry, corny cornholier. What is it? Cormier? Cormier. 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 The, uh, well, like I'm saying that like indigenous um people were often or are most 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 of the goodness gracious, water tribe are in like yeah. indigenous yeah. um what is the word? Inuit. Or like it, the equivalent, oh. which is what they're supposed to be. Okay. Okay. It's all it, it's really I pro, the props that I give it. Here's but they the good talk parts. like us. That's the weird bit. Well, let me give you the good parts Cause first. Because didn't that always bug you a little bit? Because they're all coming from these really exotic places. And some of the older people, like the Fire uh, Nation grandpa, yeah. he's all, oh, I am Mako, zip a zap right? He's real low yeah. and before he died anyway. I don't think that's a bad thing, I'm though. not saying it's bad. I'm just saying then everyone else is like, hey, guys, what's going on? We're talking like we live here now, and we're American, know, like American. Just, you don't care because that's just how it was. That's just how it was. All right. I still think it... You're I not mean, that picky. There's also like... Like, you could say the same thing for, you know, Asian Americans playing Asian characters who should have an accent and just don't because yeah, they're from America. That's true. That's kind of like, um, who's in this here? I see a picture of him here. Daniel Day Kim. That uh, man? Oh, we'll get to him. <laughs> you not happy about that? No, I, I, he's one of the few good things. Actually, let's, let's talk about the good things first. Let's right. start off ha- positive. Oh, we're going to give this a full, <laughs> full treatment, are we? I want to give it, I just want to explain. Okay, go. Daniel Day Kim is super hot. <laughs> well, yeah. I like him. He's so attractive. My gosh. Uh, Remember Lost? He's both hot because he's on fire half the time. This and is, also... By the way, this is so in 2004, Lost started. That's when... That was a year before the, sh- the cartoon. Yeah, and he was that was his first... That's really weird, yeah, actually. Yeah, it is weird. Think about that. Um, time. What is, he was great. What is it? Yeah. The kid who plays Zuko, fantastic. Who's Acting Zuko? his pants off. Who's Zuko? I don't, I don't, know. I don't know. Some kid. No, who's the character? Zuko? Oh, Zuko. He's like the bad guy kind of oh right the one he's with the, the son of he's the, got the eye pro- his yeah, eyes he's got all the scar. left up. yeah that's oh my gosh the scar looks so bad i hate the scar <laughs> it, looked it, ba- look it looked bad well it, it didn't looked, look good in the cartoon either but in the cartoon it's it's like nasty it's like gross he's missing an eyebrow yeah in the show it just kind of looked like they put some blush over his eye what'd you call him tuco it's a bit depressing tuco zuko zuko i'm thinking of tuco, Not tuco. tight 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 hold on zuko from airbender okay <laughs> i want to see okay so here's here's that kid with his eye hole oh i know who that is this actor no that's from the movie do not pull up the movie we don't talk about we don't, no one talks about that movie in in terms of positivity <laughs> at all okay so here yeah, here you go there's his, his eye kind of nasty yeah because he gets he got burned got by no somebody eyeballs. what happened by his there father okay mako got him Right no. in the eye. Oh. Mako is his uncle. Okay. And he's a good guy. I can't remember this part of the story. Daniel Day Kim. <laughs> yeah. So the kid, and then sometimes he's got a tattoo, or tattoo, a, a uh, uh, one of these deals on. Sometimes he's this. He's bald with the pulled back yeah, unit. Yeah. yeah, he's that in the beginning, and he's, he kind of, his hair changes a lot okay. in the cartoon. And you don't like his portrayal? Is that no, the I really like him. The, the actor in the live action, fantastic. Yeah. He no. killed it. Yeah, okay. Here's my problem with the show. Go. All right. People can tell me I'm wrong, but I'm not. Oh, uh, <laughs> wow. All right. <laughs> uh, he, or the, the whole show took what is considered basically a perfect show, right? The cartoon was amazing. Yeah. There's a reason why everyone loves it. Took that and then just made a C show at the best. A C show. Oh, you don't mean like SCA. C-ranked. You mean C ranked. Okay. C ranked show. Yeah. And they had so much to work with and they took a, instead of building on it, they took a lot of it away. Right. Oh, Dallas Liu. He's the dude from um, something. Oh, Pen 15's where I saw him. Oh, okay. He's good. He's good. He's really good. He yeah. was. He was very. Oh, and the, the Ten Rings, uh, Shang Chi, and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Oh, this yeah. is, is this spoilers? I'm about to say some stuff about the actual show that might be spoilers. Which show? Spoiler this alert. new one or the old one? Kind of both. Okay, I don't think it counts as spoilers just because. Well, yeah, these spoiler things have alert. changed. Kind of. And the, but to what degree? Well, why would it spoil if they already know how the cartoon? Oh, I see what you Spoiler mean. Spoiler alert! Regardless, okay. If you haven't, if you really don't want to know anything, to, to click away now. <laughs> yes. Um, click away from our seventh episode as we try to build this yes. show. Mm. All right, tell me more. Um, what happened? <laughs> sorry, I'm a little little manic. Wait, uh, I can't find a picture of him with his burnt eye. Oh okay, yeah, you got to find him from the show. Anyway, uh, they took a lot of the things like the motivations of characters. Yeah. And even some of the character 
like things that they start as and then have an arc that makes them better. They took a lot of that away. Like Sokka, who is the older brother of the waterbender Katara girl. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I just saw the face and you're dead right. It's just like not as good. It looks like, like yeah, that 98 picture even CG. Looks better. This that look, actually looks better than in the show. Look at this 98 CG business, you guys. Oof. Ooh, man. It's not good. Yeah, actually, I, hold on, hold I will on, say the in. backgrounds and like the set design and stuff, amazing. The, the actual makeup was not fantastic. I don't even call I don't. And the think, wig stuff. I think that's artificial. That looks like it's CG. It's bad. Even in the show, even though you can tell it's makeup, it's not great. I like the um, actor, though. No, yeah, he was really good. But it seems took, like a small thing to get hung up on those stupid scar. It was annoying to look at. Okay. All right. What else? <laughs> but uh, Sokka, who is the older brother in the cartoon, he was like kind of sexist is his thing. He's like, girls can't fight. Girls are only good for cooking. That kind of, you know, in the, is the a cartoon. Car- the cartoon. He's yeah. kind of a turd. Yeah. He's kind of a turd. But his whole arc throughout the show is he gets better. He learns. He becomes a better person and realizes that like he's kind of an idiot. For he's, that. It's like Hank Hill in a weird way. Yeah, like he has this important learning curve, he's, right? He's, he's got built in. He's got he's got tra- he's been trained as a, from a kid on up to adolescence to believe certain things. Yeah, and he's he's he been conditioned. That it's not true, and then he learns with the life experience that oh wow, I maybe I should change that. That yeah. is a I like that it's kind really of art. Nice Are art. you telling me they? There's none of it. Aww. He literally does not have any sexism in him in the beginning at well, all sometimes we're a little nervous about that stuff you know people get uh see this is the part people are missing the point <laughs> i know but what's funny is people this gets thrown around a lot but when when people start throwing around the stupid word woke all the time i hate it so it's much so as stupid. here it makes me want to fart blood <laughs> but this is a case where we're overcorrecting. Like you're missing the point. The idea the point is, is you get better you get growth you get growth out of a character you yeah. show you show him at their at their weakest or their at their least knowledgeable yeah. whatever and then you show the them the beginning of their evolve. story yeah i agree with that i wish there was more they took that then, away because then we have a thing to learn from that's the whole point yes exactly but they just right? took it away and yeah. then Sokka's boring he's not even funny like he was in the cartoon <laughs> he's not even the com- comedy relief you saw the dumb hair things the little you mean katara yeah she oh has, she, she has, has the loopies yeah. i couldn't remember who had the loops katara she, um, is she good? She's kind of boring. And I hate to say it. But wasn't she boring in the cartoon? No, she's so cool in the cartoon because her whole thing in the cartoon is she's kind of a mom character. She's the one taking care of everyone. And she's the girl and she has to do everything. Yeah. But she's, she's also full of so much rage and is so like pissed off at the world. And she's so interesting for that because she's also like a crazy fighter and the mom character. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I get it. So... All so right. they took that away. They also took like Aang. Um, the whole thing with Aang is he's a kid who doesn't want to be the Avatar, right? Yeah. And he just wants to be a child because he's And they 12. changed this whole origin where he got his arrow on his head because they dropped him on wet paint on You're the street. Dumb. You're oh, stupid. that's not what happened. No. That's not it. Oh, continue then. <laughs> I want to continue. Okay, right, go. Um, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> uh, they made him basically not want to be the avatar because he's too powerful and if he learns the other elements then he'll hurt people which is a weird switch yeah like why would you do that and also he oh you know what's the worst thing this whole first thing is water right the you know there's three chapters water earth and fire right it's the whole idea that's the structure he did not ang didn't water bend once well he does maybe they're doing more seasons this didn't end the whole thing did it no they they got renewed for two more but that's gonna be water Earth and fire. Well, then why? Oh, water's the first season. <laughs> yeah. Because he's already an airbender. <clears throat> so that was weird. And also, Zuko. This bothered me so much. I'm just going to rant angrily. You know, Amy is coming to <laughs> Vegas. You're going to have to face We're gonna fight. her disagreement f- um, face. It really bugged me that Zuko, his motivation no. is completely different. In the cartoon, his motivation is... His dad banishes him for embarrassing him, yeah. right? That's also how he got a scar. Yeah. Banishes him and says, gives him an, an impossible task because no one knows that the Avatar even exists and says, if you capture the Avatar, maybe I'll let you come back and regain your honor, right? Yeah. That's his motivation. He is banished. He is like without family, land, anything until he brings back the Avatar, which is an impossible task. His dad's such a douche in the, co- in the cartoon. <laughs> yeah. He's so mean. Yeah. In this one... 
they're just he's just like a kindly old I gentleman. have to be the fire lord one day so I have to prove myself to my father oh so he doesn't have he he's doesn't have the banished. dad banished bit why no. would they take that out I wonder it's weird that is weird it's weird because that's a really good story also they made Iroh kind of pushy who's Iroh um Mr. Kim. Oh, Mr. Made him pushy. They made him pu- so in in the cartoon, he is very like wise old man, but he's also kind of dumb. Like he seems dumb. Like he seems like he's just a lazy he's, old guy. He's like Yoda. Yeah, he, where, he pretends like yeah, oh, mud hole. My home this is. But he's he's like gives Zuko a little piece of advice, but the advice is always just like oh, Zuko, relax, it's fine. Hmm. And like, but it it kind of you know evolves from there. Instead, he's just like. You know, Zuko, if we do this, we could probably capture the Avatar. Like, he's he's a little too pushy. Is he evil in it? Co- not evil. Was but he evil in the co- cartoon? In the cartoon, he's a he's like, he's old and he's figured everything out. Yeah. He's the wisest one, you yeah. know, he knows everything. I get it. Yeah. But in this, he just like, <clears throat> for some reason, he's still like guilty about stuff. And he's like, oh, maybe we shouldn't be doing it. Like, it's so weird. I don't understand okay, why they so changed this, it. So this is... And all your friends kind of agreed. Yeah. You did a whole watch party with three of your, two of your friends. Yeah. Three? Two. Two. Three, three. And then I had a couple other friends who watched this. And you would all talk and whatever. Yeah. And none of you liked it as a result. No. Now, are you worried? I'm not saying this is 100% true, but are you concerned at all that your findings may have been um, everyone in the car wants to no. go to Abilene but nobody we wants to go tried. to Abilene. We all tried. We all genuinely were like we're excited, we're going to do this and then we started watching it and it was immediately like this is really <coughs> bad. Yeah. Yeah. It also it also banks on you kind of knowing enough about the cartoon to kind of fill in gaps. Yeah. And if I hadn't seen the cartoon, I think I wouldn't understand what the hell was going on. Yeah, but that's true of a lot of adap- adaptations like I hate that. But didn't like I have to do that with Dune. Like I've read the books just, and I've seen the previous stuff and so I know yeah. When I see the Mentats with their freaking helmets full of spice, I know what that is. But a lot of people have freaking no idea. I just feel like no one, or they didn't add anything to the source material. They just kind of took a bunch away and then. Well, I know they did it. it. They were walking on eggshells with this thing. Because Which they might were be terrified. why it's not good. <laughs> well, they were, they were afraid. They really were afraid of A, pissing off the, the fan base. Yeah. Which sounds like they may have anyway. I just don't To some get... degree. Like I, it seems almost impossible. Like yeah. I don't know why. And which go back to your point, which I think is a fine point. Why do it in the first place? It yes. already exists in this amazing form. And I think that like make a live action Avatar thing, but choose a different Avatar. Me and my friends were saying like if Kyoshi, who was the not the one before Aang, but the one before the one before Aang, which was the old man, Roku. That's so, that's the TV device I TV used device. to watch things. So it's Aang, then Roku behind him, and then. Uh, Kiyoshi and she's like this big scary seven foot tall beast of a lady who like kills people and she's awesome I'd watch that right why not make a live action of her <laughs> she would have been so cool why okay why couldn't they do okay I'm fine with they that because I like new stories in the same world I would have been down with that yes that's my point kind of is why did they do this when I they know could why. have expanded I know and made why. it different because they know what's they need to do a thing that gets ratings money and sells grab. well it's not a money grab <laughs> everything's a money grab you're trying to make money yeah. so if they're going to make a big full production like this they have to do the thing they think will maximize viewership and the viewership wants whether we like this or not they want avatar what they want they want that Sure, but I that go, that also flies in the yeah. face of what you were saying earlier about they changed things from the show for no for no reason discernible reason like and made it worse. All right, for there's no your review. What would you give it? Let's give it a number. Let's do a scale. Uh, we're gonna call this the the <laughs> Avatar scale of one to one hundred. One to a hundred. Yeah, let's really let's give it some granularity, as they say. Granularity. I would give it. You can do it like a one. It's almost like the same like a, as one through ten because you yeah. can say seventy five or seven point five. I give it like a forty. A forty out of a hundred. Wow. Yeah. So it you, was not. It was so disappointing, <laughs> and certain parts were literally so hard to watch because they were just so cringy and horrible. Really. And other, I. Is it because with animation, there you were good to, bits. Animation can you can do things that would be cringy in real life, but you Possibly. can get away with it. But part of it also is that it's an eight episode series. Yeah. This is actually one of my complaints about modern shows and stuff is that they don't have enough time. And it's, I know people hate filler episodes. I do hate filler. But there's a happy medium though between filler. eight and twenty four. 
Yes. Like 12 twelve's a good number. But I also think if you plan correctly, filler can be good and important to the show and not just like, I don't know, let's just do whatever, which the cartoon did really well. Every single episode had a purpose in the in the old show. Did you know that I had a friend in high school named, we nicknamed him Filler. Do you want to know why? Why? His last name was Phil, Filler, Phil, something kind of like that, but that's not why. We, call, we called him filler because one time somebody took his milkshake that he had bought and found a fresh dog poo, put it in the milkshake, and it made it go up a little bit. And he thought he got more milkshake, but really it was because there was a That's dog disgusting. poo. It is very disgusting. That's horrifying. And he went to take a drink of it and everything, and we all laughed because we were terrible boys. We were awful boys. There was an eyelash in my eyeball. And we called him filler after that. And I'm dying. That's gross. You have an eyebrash in your eyebrash in your elbow. What am I saying? <laughs> eyelash in your eyelash in your eyeball. Eyelash in my eyeball. Why? Because Well, they're in proximity. They're supposed to keep things out of my eye. Betrayal. The... <laughs> <laughs> my eyelashes didn't do the one job they had. <laughs> that is their job. That is their job. Is to go blink, 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 and blink things away, and it didn't do it. What a load. All right, Sib so 40. There you go, everybody. Send us your hate mail. Yeah. Uh, I don't, may, yeah, whatever. You'll probably find no. some people that like agree with you. Like what you like. I don't care. I just, I was sad. It was a bit sad. I mean, I'm but a little then, sad hearing it. I hadn't seen um, Spider-Verse. Yeah. Uh, the, oh, yeah. You watched Spider-Verse, Spider-Verse the, the new one. Finally yesterday. watched it. Yeah. Loved awesome. it. Fantastic so, piece so of media. Good. So good. So good. And it's a good example of... Yes, there's live action Spider Man. Yes, they're good. They do what they need to do. But there's a different. But if thing. you're gonna do something like this, this never works. This would never no. work in live action. And that's why I'm so mad to this day. I will never forgive. Oh, Warner Brothers, DC, and Warner Brothers for turning down that pitch Batman to Beyond. do this with Batman Beyond. It they been screwed so up. Good. There's. The, I don't know if you've seen the art for it. The the stuff they pitch. The yes, concept it looks so art. cool. Oh my god. No, dude. I I don't like when people equate. Um, video game or not video game huh. uh, animation and live action because I'm just like there's they're separate they're different you yeah. turned off my mic uh, no, I just turned off mine are you sure yeah here when I do this what happened uh, okay we're good <laughs> <laughs> sorry it's just um, me I don't like what it's equated because I feel like it's two different mediums and they aren't considered that instead there's it people think that animation is a genre instead of a medium yeah and it bothers me yeah no I just like you wouldn't, like books and mo- and movies are different, right? Mm-hmm. You wouldn't equate the two. You wouldn't go, oh well, well some. I mean, like some people say, oh the book's better, whatever. Yeah. The point is, you don't have the same. It's not the same experience reading versus um, no, watching that, something. That's true. And so animation, I feel like, is more of that, where it's like this is a different thing. It's a very intrinsically different medium. Like a painting right. and a sketch are can both be beautiful, but they are different. They're mediums. They're very different mediums. Yeah, that, that's fair. I, I mean, look. Oh, well, first, before we do anything, I just so people can see this. Look at this chat. And some mediums are just better at doing certain things. In chat room, or if you're not in the chat room, go seek this out because it's freaking amazing. It looks so cool. This is some of the concept art they pitched for a treatment of Batman Beyond, which is one of my favorite things ever, um, to Warner Brothers, and they turned them effing down because they're stupid. They could have gotten Michael... Keaton to do the voice of old Batman. That would have been cool. They could have got, I don't care who, to be this kid. And just tell some stuff. Just tell some stories. It's story. so depressing, dude. And it doesn't mean it can't happen again. It doesn't mean this is off the table forever. In fact, I think if enough people freaked out, that Warner Brothers would go, and they maybe do it. But so how do you dumb. how do you turn down do the Spider-Verse people? Go, no, meh. Or, or having Warner seen, make some having seen Sp- Spider-Verse, though, how do you see those and go, and see the yeah, it's not for us. Them. Yeah. Freaking two double birds. Dude, Warner Brothers is they make weird choices lately. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't it. know what's going on. They can they can eat a butt. Uh well there where's there there's that. Where's that? There there's that. Let's talk about uh, uh now that you've ruined the airbender for everyone. Just kidding. <laughs> this is my opinion, my <laughs> opinion only. Um GDC's going on right now and you're not there. You, I am not. You've been before. Many times. You don't like San Francisco. I don't like San Francisco. I don't like crowds of people. Why don't you like San Francisco? Because there's poo everywhere. There's <laughs> thank, a lot of poo. Thank you for answering the question as soon as you asked it. Is that why? Why don't you like it? There's poo everywhere. Well, I mean, there's things to like about San Francisco. And sure. you, when you went, you had you know, a nice hotel and everything. my vibe. I don't know. It's just not it your there. thing. Is it because of crowds? Too many people? Too many people. It's, it's just hard. I don't know. I don't like being there. 
Mm. I don't get the feeling. I don't like. You don't get the vibe. I don't get the vibe. All right, well, <laughs> if uh, if you see bright red colored uh, GDC or um, uh, University of Utah Games Division shirts, what do they just have? Big U on them. Can't remember. Have, uh, it says Gamer U on the back, with like a big U. And yeah. They're bright red. You can't miss them. If you're out there and you're hearing this and you see somebody walking around like that, that's either a student or somebody in the faculty and or staff. 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 Um, and if they are bleeding, they might have a staff infection. <laughs> but, um, but if you see this, uh, you should walk up and go, uh, Carter says hi. And then they'll say, I'm a student and don't know her. I don't know who Carter is. And you can say, she designed your jacket. And they can go, oh. <laughs> I mean, I kind of wish I was there just because, I don't know, it's GDC, man. It's cool I think stuff. GDC is really cool. I just, I don't. And they're doing a good thing this year. They're doing, they're focusing yeah, a lot of the event that. on like job growth because of the, all these layoffs in the industry. Yeah. So they're actually doing something cool. That's, I appreciate that. Yeah. They could have ignored that and it would have been, yeah, they could have just gone deaf. forward and made it weird. It'd be like Jeff Keeley's Game Awards where it was just like, we video games, try not to pay any attention to. F- 9,000 people. I do wish I jobs. was there just because I have some friends that I'm like, it would be so fun to go to GDC with them. But you guys could go out drinking. I'm like, also not you, gonna, you love to drink. It's too expensive. And you love to drink, right? <laughs> too expensive, and my work wouldn't send me. <laughs> You're such a party animal. Carter's always out drinking, drinking and partying, drinking and, and you know, boozing. As the, as the kids say, what else? Putting boozing, drugs into your. Um, getting zazzed. Getting. Is that a thing? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't think. I hope not. Carter doesn't drink. She doesn't do drugs. So she's kind of boring. That like acts. me. You're boring on trips where a lot of that's happening. Like when I go to Vegas, I have a great time with everybody, but I'm not a partier. So when everyone's like, we're staying up till two, we're going to drink these leg sized drinks with the, yeah. that look like a leg. I've been an old woman I since I was it. 13 years old. <laughs> I am so ready for bed all the time. <laughs> kind of ready right now. I don't know why I'm so tired today. Oh, dude. I went off caffeine this week. Yeah. Um, because of some health issues and first what were your things just for so people days. know you're shaky so from um covid i have some lung issues oh I, yeah COVID, she got kind of a long ge- longish covid long covid it's long COVID. long yeah but there's different kinds of it i don't know and you got the one that makes it hard to breathe a lot can't breathe but because of that i'm like not, not getting necessarily sucks. enough oxygen so my heart's working a little bit harder Makes me mad. Which hasn't been a huge issue. It's just been like I had an inhaler that I would use and it would like calm everything down. But earlier this week, I had like a full blown like palpitation attack. Yeah. <laughs> it was horrible and I, I thought those. I was dying. I've had those before. At 11 o'clock at night. 11 p.m. You could have come and got me. And they kept going for two hours. Why didn't you come get me though? Two hours. Why didn't you come get me? Because I was Googling. <laughs> what? <laughs> Which was an awful idea. Don't do that. But Googling symptoms? One of the things. Don't do that. One of the things that it said for like long bouts of palpitation because that's when you're kind of concerned is when they last more than a few minutes yeah um is like cut out caffeine and do all this yeah. other stuff and, and so you- i cut out caffeine had the worst headache for like oh, five yeah. days big time withdrawals oh headache gosh. she had a caffeine withdrawal headache it was, it was bad. so bad i had to take like half a day off work one day because it, it was, was so migraine it was my migrainey it was so bad migraineish. Yeah. um and now i'm better but i am a little bit sleepy now yeah, because you don't have your dose of whatever. Well, I'm glad you did a thing for yourself that's good for you, though. Yeah, I haven't. That's had, hard to do. I haven't had any palpitations since. Yeah. So it's probably good. I, <laughs> I used to be able to hear my heartbeat until I lost about five pounds, and now I don't hear it anymore. Oh, interesting. Well, my all and, the time. Yeah, prior to it, yeah. When I so this is recently, I had to go. The doctor is like, you got to lose some weight, and you got to do this and that. You know, it's just health stuff. Um, you got to quit living like you're 20. And I said, okay, so cutting out all the sugar and all that, <laughs> all that boring stuff. Yeah. And um, one thing was my blood pressure was a little high, not horrible, but a little high. Mm. And I'm just like, oh, it runs my family, no big deal, blah, blah, blah. She goes, just lose just a little bit of weight and yeah. you'd be surprised. I lose five pounds. It's I stop hearing it. I don't know if that That's was so what weird. was also part of that. But I go in to the, my doctor and she says, sure enough, you... You're so way back. You're be all some, in like, great pressure ranges. Pressure on a vein or something. Yeah. So I was like hearing like, I just hear it in my head. That's so weird. Ooh, that's hear it so at disturbing. Night. <laughs> I know. I don't like it. Yeah. No. I. The worst thing is that I, not long ago, had a doctor's appointment and everything was perfect. Everything. 
All things. All the things. Yeah. All the blood tests, all the junk. And so, so I was like, what is wrong with me? Except for your COVID breath. COVID breath. <laughs> it's on her microphone. <sighs> Ew. Foul. <laughs> That's a gross idea. Uh, this, I just got a message, a text message to the show. This is an emergency text message. Would you like to hear it? Okay. We should have some music for emergencies. Like, Welcome back, Carter. No, that's boring. Yeah. Hold on. Monday, when further surprising and thrilling things occur. That's a good Ooh, one. Oh, I like that yeah, one. Yeah, that one's a good all right. one. Here's a thrilling thing that just occurred. Um, it just says this. There's no name. Uh, wait a second. The Monday show on tonight. Well, crap. I thought it was Tuesday. <laughs> It's Monday. To, I don't know what to tell these We're, people. We got to be responsible for telling the time for people now. That's how it works <laughs> when, you name, deal? when you name your show after a day. Um, got some more here. Molly wrote in. Says, uh, Carter, virus peanuts are disgusting. Got sick on them as a kid, says Molly. Oh, P.S. Love the Monday show. It. Then she wrote back and said, oops, I meant circus peanuts. Yeah. So her autocorrect changed circus to virus, and that makes me laugh. It's, it's even better. Virus peanuts. Virus peanut. Um... That's valid. I, I've gotten sick on things as a kid that I can't even look at now. Like string cheese. String cheese will get you. Mom also I mean, I'm a vegetarian cheese. for that reason. Well, that's true because bacon made you sick. Yeah. The sickest I ever got was, um, well, whatever. You don't like, you're big at save the animals too. You're all big on that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So it just worked that out. That was a factor. <laughs> It's definitely a factor. Except definitely for the factor. fish. F those fish. F them fish. Yeah, fish suck. Who cares if I eat those? <laughs> <laughs> respect the fish respect him but eat him sure. eat him but yeah. just respect, respect him while you eat him respect it yeah inspect them respect them it's a complicated thing vegans hate me vegans don't hate i've you. had a lot of vegans yell at me vegans. be like you're a hypocrite you don't and it's well, like, okay. yeah but i'm you know what uh, here's the problem we all have to get along in this world even with the vegans <laughs> oh, yeah <laughs> With meat eaters, vegans, vegetarians, pescatarians, all of these weird little substripes of how people decide to intake food. We're all stuck in this little world together. We have to deal with it. So everyone, that is a thing we should not fight over. We should fight over stuff that, that like big impactful stuff. Things that, like, I don't know what. There's enough in the world to worry There's about. There's enough in the world. So don't get mad at me because I ate a burger and you don't get mad at me for eating bacon. I, I won't get, get mad at you I for don't get killing those fish. I don't get mad at you. For, I don't kill the fish. Just as like she you didn't kill the pig. Dabs the fish in the eye while they're breathing. They're on the ground going. <laughs> <laughs> and you go right in the eye and grind the eye out. Would you uh, switch your whole diet for bugs if it was like available and um, yummy? If it was yummy and in a form where I was, there was no way to tell it was bugs. Like no extra okay. weird crunchy to anything. It'd have to be like a little, like a bologna patty. Oh, I don't know, dude. Bologna How is it barely look? animal. <laughs> all right. If you could give me, if I could get all my protein that way and you could make a burger patty that just a thousand percent is a burger patty in every way to me that I can perceive okay. it, then yeah, I'd do it. All right. But I don't want to see you make it. I don't want to see anyone like. Maybe do you, if I brought crickets on. To the show, like little dried crickets. Would you eat them? I've done. Well, I did like some food on, grade ones. I did them on TMS once, and I also did the scorpion in a sucker. I was sucker. about to say, would you do the scorpion? I did it once. I have you ever had a dried scorpion? No. Crunchy. Did you? Very crunchy. Well, how do you know that? Because I was in sixth grade. <laughs> Fifth or oh. sixth grade. Oh, you were in sixth grade. Yeah. And oh well, of course, I, everyone I, in for sixth some grade. reason they were like, "Here's a bunch of bugs <laughs> that taste like." things really they gave you guys like yeah there was like cheddar crickets and i didn't do any of that when stuff. i was a kid they, i don't think they would have dared back then i don't know it was weird maybe now that i think about it that might have been a weird occasion <laughs> i dissected a cat that's gross in high school i hate that oh it was great one of them do you want to hear a terrible story oh, i made I? a girl throw up you oh hear how? yeah okay <laughs> so we had to do cats and it was a physiology two or whatever the class was and uh this is the class where i did the cartoon of the teacher killing a cat and put his head on a spike, and he gave me a better grade because I gave him the art. That's amazing. He gave me a whole grade up Sociopath. from the C or whatever I was getting. Anyway, so we had to do cats, and we had teams, and you're on a team doing a cat. Yeah. And the cats are flayed open. They're raised for the... I don't know how this worked. I don't know how schools get a bunch of cats to cut into. This is a really good question. <clears throat> but they're all formaldehyded, and you know they're yeah. preserved and all mm -hmm. that. I mean, I'm they're starting not alive. to feel like your teacher might have been a little off his... 
his no, rocker. I mean he he did frogs for the the class below ours, and you know it's always a thing. Okay. I don't think this is that unusual. Maybe now it is, but it wasn't in the eighties. Anyway, so he had this cat, or we had this cat we were working on, and this girl table next to us had a cat going, and she looks over at us and she goes, "Ew!" Or she says she's in just the middle of class, "Ew!" And we go, "What's the matter?" <laughs> and she goes, "I think there's something wrong with my cat." Okay. And I'm like, "What?" She goes, "Like it's got like a like." And she kept saying "like" a lot. I remember that. <laughs> Like a lot. She goes, there's just something wrong. Come here and look. And so we go over there and look, and it's it's a little colon was all thick. Like like it had bulgy. just eaten. <laughs> it was right big. Before it died. And ours wasn't. Ours is our, ours is like a little flat little nothing, like a little tapeworm. Ew. And this is gonna be gross. and we had and and I don't remember we didn't have to even really cut around there. It's just that she couldn't get past this. And she goes, What is that? What does it mean? What is it what is it? What does it mean? <laughs> so I went over there and I go, and we're wearing gloves. And I went over there and took my fist. Oh. And I started from the base of it and just slowly rolled it on the table. And I made this preserved dead cat That's so disgusting. poop on the table. So a little popped out. Learned some anatomy that day. And this girl threw up. Good. She went, she went, <laughs> Ew, blah, off to the side of the, <laughs> of the side of the table. That's so disgusting. Oh, I'll never forget that. It's, and this guy wore, this, do- this teacher wore a lab coat and was very stern it was a different time it was a different time anyway uh here's here's uh speaking of passing of time um the talk of time passing between scott and carter this is another text here uh just made me realize how long i've been turning into tuning into frog pants i <laughs> turning i hope you're not turning so into weird us. from high school in the early 2000s to now at 37 years old that means that sometime fairly recently i passed the point where i have been a member of the tadpole for more than half of my life wow Dude. That's amazing. Jay-Z, art soldier, by the way, is who wrote that in. That's so cool and gross. Time is weird? Time is weird. It's not that gross. It's not as gross as a cat getting its poo pushed out. This is correct. Dead. I've been part of the frog pants deal <laughs> for way more than half my life. That's right. Back when you were but a small spermatozoa. Oh, a wee lass. Swimming through the eustachian tubes. Nope, that's ears. Eustachian? That's the ear. What is one of my... Let's stop fa- talking. Fallopian tubes of your mother. <laughs> let's take a, let's take a break. <laughs> let's not take a break. Let's keep rolling. Here's more. Ready for the next one? Yeah. Thomas Chambers wrote in. Hey Scott and Carter, just a few things I wanted to uh, send you that might uh, send you that you might find interesting. That's a weird sentence. Uh, first on the subject of everybody being able to draw, Nerd Forge on YouTube usually you, uh, recently made a video about her teaching her fiance how to draw. It's pretty interesting. What a difference there is between his first drawing and the beginning of the last one he tries at the end. Uh, somebody else famous did this. Um, oh, PewDiePie did this. He oh. did. He did a year. Oh. Every day, every day every drawing every day, yeah. and his first one looked like utter garbage. And by the end of the year, it's pretty good. What's funny is, honestly, you could do that even as a professional. Like we could do that, and we draw all the time. But if every single day we started with one, and every single day drew something, the end one would still be better. Yeah. Probably. You're right. No, I guarantee it would be. There's stuff I do now that's better than what I did a week ago. Oh, yeah, of course. And there's stuff. You sometimes change, you do you something. Evolve, you learn. Sometimes you do a thing and it sucks, even no matter when you do it. That's true. Sometimes um, you just can't draw. That happened to me the other day. Anyway, here's another bit. It says, I don't know if you've heard about the ocean conserv- conservation Nambia. Nambia? Nam. Namibia. Nam. Ibia. Namibia. Namibia. <laughs> Nam. Nam, Nibia. Nibia. <laughs> but it's a group that rescues seals from entanglements. Oh, that's uh, neat. If that's if putting your whole thing in a pocket isn't right, I don't want to be wrong. How's it go? If shoving frozen dirt in your <laughs> crotch isn't right, then I don't want to be or, wrong. I love what, him. Uh, yeah. What's that? It's wrong that I don't want to be his right. His name again? Free waterfall. Free senior. waterfall scene. <laughs> Futurama <laughs> character. Anyway, uh, let's see, but it's a, it's a group that rescues seals from entanglements like fishing line and other objects that can slow them down or even can cut them. Oh. I really like these videos because they show people fixing human caused problems and not, inf- uh, sorry, interfering with nature or self or for selfish reasons. Lastly, the YouTube short just kind of reminded me of Carter, so I thought you guys might like it. And I'm not going to show it because we'll get in trouble, but I'm going to play a tiny bit of it okay. for audio sake. 
I'm two days into college. Oh, I and love I'm this. I've seen it. Have you seen this? Yes. There's this guy. Let's name him Colin. He says he wants to be mine, but it doesn't really sit with me quite right because he doesn't really her. like the things. It won't let me pause. Her little accent. YouTube shorts on the web have problems. Um, that's cute. It's so cute. It's all about this girl like trying to figure out her deal. It looks like your art style. It's adorable. It makes um, me want to animate. I should animate more. Why don't it's you? Hard. Get on that. Here, I'm. I'm gonna save this. Watch later. Busy. I haven't actually seen this yet. I think I send it to you at some point, but maybe you don't watch anything. I, I watch you. all you. You make me go through them. Here, let me tell you guys a little story. <laughs> when I'm sitting on my phone and Kent and Carter sees me, here, let me get my phone. I'll show you. Oh, I'll be sitting there this? watching it. Something. I'll be reading something or something. Right. <laughs> Just do to do. And she'll come over here and she'll first of all slap my phone so it falls out of my hands. Yeah. It enrages me. <laughs> I mean, literally, this I turn is, red. I get this so is pissed. Tradition. It's a horrible tradition. Don't ever create it in your own homes. Anyway, <laughs> and then she'll make me open the TikTok app. She makes me go to the messages, makes me find her name, click it, go all the way to the top of the stuff she's been sharing. And then I got like 40 videos in a row I have to watch. Yeah. It's fine. I have to make you... You always laugh. You like the videos <clears throat> I send No, I do you. like them. You just don't watch them unless I make you. I just, you know, they're going to kill that app. It's going to get tossed. How do you feel about I, that? I would prefer if it didn't. I think it's going to get... I think that bill gets killed in the Senate and oh, nothing easy. happens. You know why? Not even just because... Okay, two reasons. Government today is all about uh, theatrical nonsense. It's mostly for show. All of it. Okay? Secondly, even if they were serious about it, the precedent you would set by deleting an app because you don't like the information on it is a massive precedent. Oh, yeah. Precedent that's going to cause set. some... That's, like yeah, worldwide. You're, you're setting a president, precedent. We're setting that, the president. Setting the president... <laughs> setting a precedent that you cannot reverse easily right not easily and you're also telling the rest of the world oh interesting so when american apps come knocking on our door we can just ban them here mm -hmm. okay cool it's, we'll do it's that a, it's a big like giant, europe will dick with us problem. and we like europe you guys are our friends big dumb problem that has no right to be that stupid why are these old people in charge we need young people <sighs> carter uh announcing her 2028 presidential run. Hell no. <laughs> Come on now. See, this is the no. problem. Good people don't do it because they don't want to be in this shitty Because it situation. sucks. I think, I don't know, someone needs to come along who doesn't care about themselves at all. I also think that the system as it is kind of crushes people who feel that way. What do you mean? You have to play the game. Oh, no, I know. You do have to play the game. And, and if you don't want to play the game, it's, yeah, it would wreck you. Yeah. Or you love the game and then you're a terrible then person because you love the rent. That's you the love thing. The, game. the system set up to kind of have it so no one. It's not how shows it's set up. up. Who's really the way good. things were originally set up was not that. It's effed. It's yeah. currently set up in that way. Ugh, I hate it. It's great. Thank you for that, Thomas. Appreciate it. Um, there's no way we're getting all these today, but I'm sure do a couple here. How about this one? Danny Danny Beretta sent some dog pictures. You want to see? Ooh, dog pictures. We always have time for dog these pictures. These are cute. Oh, my gosh. Look. Ooh. Okay, hold on, chat. There you Big go. Big puppy. Uh, door, and that's a rabbit. Oh my gosh, I didn't even see the rabbit. I thought it was a toy. Yeah, a little stuffed toy there. <laughs> Dog doesn't seem none too none, none plus. That's not the word. Oh my gosh, a frog. <gasps> frog! Look at him. Oh my gosh, I love frogs so much. <laughs> All right, so there's a frog and then some kind of snake. <gasps> it's so pretty. Yeah, it says here, is uh, it? Ash is the puppy. Pecan or pecan is the bunny. Pecan. That's cute. Cute. Karopi is the frog. Karopi, that's cute. And unnamed is the snake. What kind of snake is it? I don't know. It looks Did like a ribbon say? snake to me. That's not a ribbon snake. Uh, looks like it's made out of peeps. It does. Like a peep snake. It's a peep snake. Someone someone tell me what kind of snake that is. It's so pretty. Tell us more about your peep snake. So cute. Thanks. That's awesome. That's very, very cool. Thanks, Danny. Uh, we love pets, so you guys know how to get to our souls here. Uh, JK Grammar <laughs> wrote in and says, just finished up on Monday's show with you and Carter. Here's a doggo photo for y'all. Me and Sarah and Hulu, or Hula, sorry. Hulu. <laughs> She's a Catahoula leopard dog. Yeah. I don't know that brand of dog. Oh, puppy, you baby. Like that? These two just got married. I love that. I love when dogs have like the, oop, like the powder sugar nose. Oh, right. I do too. So cute. Rainer's getting it because she's aging. She started. It's mostly her chin, though, so it looks like she has a little beard. It's really cute. Yeah. <laughs> These two just got married. Congratulations. Yay, the, the grammars. Marriage. 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 <laughs> uh, thank you for that. That's awesome, as always. And grats to you guys. Uh, here's one. I'm just doing these by date. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Enjoying the Monday show. Here are my nine-month-old Bizzagenny. 
Bez, Bezini puppies? I'm just trying to say that. Oh, no. Cleo is the tricolor and Enzo is the red and white. Let's take a look. Show oh, me. Oh, these are pretty dogs. Oh. Look at these. They look like they would be really... Love this one. They look like they'd be great apocalypse dogs. They do, don't they? Like they'd just be so loyal and by your side the whole time. And really not too hard to manage in yeah, that situation. Yeah, they would bark and weird, like, yeah. and cause problems. That's they'd be a, lovely. Yep, good call. Here they are again, chilling on the steps. Oh. This one looks skeevy. Like My dog in an apocalypse, she's just going to screw me. She's so barky. <laughs> yep. Are these both girls? I think they're girls. I like girl oh, dogs. Oh, they're so pretty. Girl dogs are better because they don't have a little red wiener out all the time. <laughs> I hate that. Anyway, uh, they he says also, fun fact, these can't bark. Uh, that, oh. that breed can't bark. We're even, we were so right. <laughs> says they can yodel and rough, but can't bark. That's oh, awesome. That's so cool. Also, no name on this. I, so I love when dogs like that have like, they look like eyebrows. They look angry. So I, I feel like they're up to something when they look like that. <laughs> but what do I know? A sneaky. Uh, here's one. This one just in. Welcome back, Carter. <laughs> Stop using that. <laughs> this is from Matt D. Says, I give you Maggie and Peach, my annoying dogs. I like this show's becoming a dog showcase I toward love the it. end. Aw. Look at them. Aw, I had get, one like this. They got those like thousand yard stairs. It's like, I used to be a man in another life. Oh, yeah. You wonder what they would have been. Right? I know everything. <laughs> like if these dogs were men, let's just let's see. This guy was an accountant here. Pretty straight, straight shooter. You can see that, yeah. This one. Maybe looks innocent, but there is some skeevy business going on. <laughs> Serial killer, but like in a... Yeah. Got away with some stuff. Yeah. Thanks, Matt. We appreciate uh, the look at your dogs. <laughs> uh, and then a Timu ad for some reason. Go away. All right. Get out of here. Uh, we got more, but we're going to have to wait for those for yeah, next we got to read our newest patrons. That's right. We have a brand new list of patrons. Would you guys like to hear them? I sure would. Uh, sure look who, would. Look who, <laughs> look who joined <laughs> us. Joseph Booten. 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 David R. Thurber. Uh, Tanner Goodman. We know Tanner. We do know Tanner. And he is a good, good man. Men. Goodman. <laughs> Molly Fanton. Molly Fenton. We also know Molly. Spaghetti Syntax. Love that guy. He and I are Such working a on a little. Name. We got a little sneaky something we're working oh, on. Oh, he's the one you're working on. A little mm -hmm. sneaky something. A little sneaky sneaky. Joel Snipes. I'll bet he does. He's also on the list. <laughs> toe Cutter. Back. Toe Cutter from the original Mad Max. Oh. Did you know the actor who played the evil Toe Cutter in... Uh, Mad Max 79 or whatever the year was, is the same guy they got to play Immortan Joe in Fury Road. Really? That's so cute. And he died. Yeah. Maybe he's sad. Stop. Yeah. Genie, as in Genie, one of my favorite people like in our G community. G. Kinney. G. Kinney. That's exactly right. Uh, Mark, Amanda Goddard, Shan, I think is how you say this one. Bill Rudder, Lois Haley, Wabbit Magic. Love that guy. Wabbit. He's a super dork. He's great. <laughs> Super and John dog. Kelly. Look at these amazing people. I doubt that's the John Kelly from NYPD Blue. He was a detective in that show. Why am I thinking? Who's, who's the guy who dances? Uh, what? The one who's like a crazy dancer from like old old movies. I'm your Something crazy Kelly. dancer. Oh, Gene Kelly. Gene Kelly. John <laughs> Kelly. Gene. It was close. <laughs> a crazy dancer from the 50s. He was always dancing and doing stuff. <laughs> uh, anyway, you guys are all awesome. You've joined us over at patreon.com slash the Monday show. And uh, if it wasn't for you, we wouldn't probably be doing this because part of this is to help supplement Carter and her needs. <laughs> you make me sound like a crazy person. I'm just I don't teasing. Know what no, you're doing. it's all good. We just have to, you know, you gotta, you gotta. This belly helps up. the show happen because it probably wouldn't happen without it. Yeah, that's what we're saying. We are gonna do a monthly or a uh, uh, special monthly stream. Yes. Soon. For patrons only. That will be soon. We were going to try to do it yesterday, but things yeah. didn't work out. We're going to figure it out. So many people over. Yeah, it was a lot. So probably this weekend, if I had to guess. And um, we'll let you know plenty of time so you can be there for it. Yeah. Uh, what we'll do, we don't know yet. Art, game. We know nothing, we basically. Don't know. We don't know yet. We're trying to figure it out. We'll figure it out. But if you want pre-show content, if you want that, you want other cool stuff, go sign up for our monthly Patreon at uh, Frog Pants. Or, excuse me, patreon.com slash the Monday show. And if you're looking for anything else, it's over at frogpants.com slash Monday. Monday. Keep those uh, texts and stuff coming. 801-471-0462. And uh, that's it. Oh, and stick around, people in the chat. We're going to choose a title based on your submissions at frogpants.showbot.tv. Hopefully some of the mods and regulars have been passing that around in there. And if they haven't, I'll put it in now. So submit a title, uh, vote on the ones you like, and Carter and I will make a pick. Woo. I think it's going to do it. Carter, is there anything else that we should take care of before we go no no 
No. Not at all? <laughs> you don't want to talk about your rice bowls? We should talk about those next week. Bowls. Or next week, yeah, next week. Uh, for our eighth episode, we should talk about you and your rice bowls and how cool it would be if we had a cafe. All the foods. Oh, I want a cafe. Frog Pants Cafe, art gallery, studio upstairs, uh, podcast happening all day. Uh, a little cafe downstairs. Cafe downstairs. Carter does her world famous uh, bowls. Kim runs the place, so it's efficient. I'm telling you, this would be the best. We could swing it. It'd be great. Oh yeah, for, it's so cheap now to open yeah, a small. Yeah, so cheap. Yeah, very it's inexpensive. It's the perfect time. <laughs> like cost nothing to buy space in a retail yeah. establishment. Anyway, that are all. Those are all things I want. Uh, that's it for us. Thank you all for listening. We'll see you next time. Get more at frogpants.com. Welcome back, Carter. I keep forgetting you'd laugh at the end of that. Yep.